Hello and welcome to Minecraft School. Today, uh, there's an Enderman flying around and doing his stuff back there, but I'm going to try to ignore him and focus on the animals around us because what we're going to be doing is farms. That's right, we've got so many animals here, and you know what? Food is really important. We need food. And so, our objectives for today are to build animal pens, then gather all four animals into the pens, and number three, we're going to start some crop fields and craft a composter. Now that is going to be very useful for us. And I just want that creeper to go away because he can easily kill me, but he just wants to do stuff. Uh, that's not a creeper. Sorry, that's an enderman. <laughs> Um, yeah, so, uh, and just to let you know, Endermen are very abundant in the end, but you can also find them in the nether in warped forests. They're dangerous, they're strong, they teleport, they pick up things and steal them and then put them down somewhere and, oh, they're just really, really strong, but you need them. You absolutely need them if you're going to go to the end. But that's not yet. We're going to deal with that when it comes. So what we need to do is focus on the animals. We've got four kinds of animals. And I'll talk about each one and what they do. Uh, oh, you can see the smoke from the village over there. So we're actually pretty close to the village. We'll be heading over there very briefly. But I just need to check and see what kind of crops we picked up from the village. Because we did pick up some stuff. So we have wheat seeds, so we've already got that. We've got pumpkin seeds. Oh, good, we got pumpkin seeds. We've got potatoes. We have sweet berries. We can do that. We've got sugar cane. And that's about it. So there are some other foods that we need to get. So let's go first and gather some crops. Let's just see if they have any over at the village. In villages, you can often find different kinds of crops. It uh, looks like we've already got a bunch of pumpkins here, but we have pumpkin seeds. I want to see if we can find any actual farms, because they will be very useful. And the villagers are, villagers are talking. Ah, this is the center of the village. It must be after work. So they're just busy uh, socializing and, you know, just being friendly to each other, but I can't seem to find any farms. I know there are farms because I saw... No, I don't know if there are farms. Never mind. I just have not seen any fields yet. Unfortunately, the sun's going to be going down, so I'm probably going to have to steal someone's bed, and I do apologize for that. And then we'll keep searching for any farms. If we can't... Ah, uh, oh well. I need sleep. All right, uh, we had some zombies coming out at night. And let's check down here and see if there's any farms. It's kind of odd when you find a village without any farms. May not be our lucky day here. Oh, well. If we can't, then we can't. It's That's okay. We can find some other villages later on. Uh, I just want to plant some crops that we already have so we'll just head back to the head back to the house not really a house and uh, we'll see what we can do now that we've got a good deal of iron I'm going to make my first iron axe because I want to chop down some trees I'm just going to keep using this axe until it's finished there's no point in uh, not using it but I need a lot of wood to create fences and fence gates, of course. I just want to make some simple pens. We don't need anything fancy in the early game. We just need something to hold them. So I'm going to go and cut down some trees and I'm going to focus on mainly oak, I think. So I'm just thinking about how to lay this out. I'm thinking of using this hill here as where the house is going to go when I build it, which I believe will be in episode four. But uh, before then, I'm thinking of putting a lot of animal pens around here. 
and this will be converted into storage and we'll have plant fields out here. So first of all, let's get the animal pens ready. And we can't exactly lure any of them until we have some wheat grown. But first, let's make a bunch of oak planks. And now we need a lot of sticks. So we got over a stack here. So I'm just going to go through here and we're going to find fences. So we can keep clicking and you will be able to make more. Ah, uh, no, I want, sorry, I want this. That's what I want. Uh, okay, so I think that should be a good amount. So, no, that's not enough, but it'll give us a bit of a start. Uh, but we also need fence gates. And for this, for each pen, well, at least for the larger animals, we need two. So let's get started on one of these pens. I'm going to make four in total. They don't have to be big. We're not here to make a massive farm. This is a temporary location just to get us started, of course. So uh, one thing you also want to do is clear out the grass. Why? You get seeds. And seeds are for growing wheat. So as you can see, I now have uh, two wheat seeds here. I've got more in there. I just want to clear out a fairly good sized area. Got a few flowers. Don't worry about that. And the tall ones especially. Get them out of the way. They're, they're, they're often in the way. They can obstruct your view. Okay. I think that's good for now. We got eight. So, uh, you can build these any way you like. I think I'm going to do, I think, up to the side of this. I'm thinking, yeah, I think that'll be fine. I've got 13 here. Okay, I'm going to take that out. Right, let's, let's, oops, nope, that's not what I wanted. I want to do this. We got that, and let me grab the oak fence, and we'll put this here. Okay, uh, sun's going down. Oh, and there's a wandering, wandering trader again. Uh, hello again. Do you have anything good? Different trades. Bu bucket of pufferfish. You do have beetroots. Hold on, you stay here. We've got one of the crops, so I'm gonna sleep. Um, it is it is unusual that we actually have a trade that we want to do. I'm surprised. So I'll just grab one emerald. And where is it? There we go. I only need one. That's all I need. Because I just need one one seed. And so I'm going to give him this beetroot. And thank you very much. We made our first trade. And that is wonderful. Okay, so I'm thinking of putting maybe pigs in here. Because I already have potatoes. So let's grab the potatoes here. Now, pigs are attracted to both potatoes and carrots. You can use them to draw them towards the pen that you want. So here we go. We got a couple pigs. Just let them follow you. And... Oh, you can get out of the way. Please get out of the way. Thank you. So bring him in here. Okay, great job. I'm going to back out and close this. And there we go, our first pigs. Now, pigs are really only good for food. That's all they give you. They give you pork. They don't really give you anything else, just food. But they're a decent food source. Not the best, but quite good. Now, if I want other animals, I need wheat or, in the case of chickens, 
I just need wheat seeds. So what I'm going to do now is make a couple more pens. Well, probably three more. And we'll be back. All right, I've got all four pens ready. And this one is open because I do have wheat seeds. So I want to go and get some chickens. Uh, chickens are attracted by seeds. And are there any more? Or have they despawned? Now this is, this is a little bit concerning here. All right, we got our chickens. So bring them in here. And hold on. I need to move them out of the way. There we go. Okay, so the chickens are by themselves. I've got some eggs. What you can do with the eggs is throw them. They just right click. And nope, that didn't work. Uh, there's a, a chance that a baby chicken will hatch from them. Now, to get the other two animals, the sheep and the cows, I need to grow some wheat. So I need to start with some farms. Now, for this, I'm going to need a couple of things with the iron. So let me see, I've got nine iron. And first of all, I need to make a bucket. Buckets are important because with these you can transport water, lava, fish, and other things as well. And we also need to make one tool that is very useful with farming. That's the only thing you can use for farming. And that is the hoe. And there we go. So I need to figure out a location for this farm. We're going to start small because that's all we've got. Uh, the hoe is used to make farmland, but it's also very useful for what I'm doing right now. It acts as a scythe. Now what I like to do is mark out where I'm going to be placing these fields. So I like I like to make some walls of cobblestone and other things, but for right now I'm just going to make a nice little cobblestone wall here. It's not, oh, I need my pickaxe for this. It's not going to be an amazingly big field because I don't need a large space, but let's make this one. I'm not sure what we'll put in here, but it could be wheat. That's a good size. So wheat is what we need first, though. So we definitely need to make our wheat. Uh, let's, let's give this a little bit of a space over here, too. I mean, it doesn't have to be perfectly square. Sometimes it's nice just to make an interesting shape. So we've got this. I'm going to be putting in our wheat in here. So let's get this. So we've got a shovel. What we need to do is dig some holes. And it doesn't look like we need many holes. Now what these are for is to create watering spots, I guess you can call them. And what you need to do is put water in these holes and you can plant any crops up to four blocks away. So this is sufficient. And let me see, is this sufficient? So one, two, three, four. Yeah, that'll do very, very well. One, two, three, four. Maybe not there. One, two, three, four. Okay. So that cornered probably is going to need another hole. So. What we need to do now is fill in these holes with water. And that's why you need the bucket. So place it in there. Let's come back, grab some more. And then once we're done this, we're going to be filling this field with wheat. Now, of course, what we use wheat for is to make bread as well as to feed and breed several different kinds of animals, especially cows, sheep, horses. Yeah, we need that. We can also make uh, hay bales and those are used to breed llamas. Okay, so here we need the hoe and you right click on the ground to make farmland. So we want to fill this all in. And we want to start making, well, I only have enough for this, I think. So I'm just going to 
place this down. You right click with the seeds and it plants it. And that's all we've got. Now we have to wait. Or we can use bone meal. Unfortunately, we don't have bone meal, but there are ways to make it. So that is one thing we need to do. We can make a composter. So let's search and find out. So this is showing craftable. Let's search here. So composter. What we need for the composter is slabs. That's easy enough to do. So we need a total of seven slabs. So let's make, oh, we've got six there. So we need an extra one here. So we've got 12 slabs now. And just put that in there. And there's our composter. Now, composters are for making bone meal. We can put any kind of organic material in there. It could be seeds, for example. We could have put seeds in there. We could put uh, any kind of plants. And we've got plenty of kelp over here. So why don't we give this a try? Because I want to get some uh, bone meal as quickly as possible. So these are easy. You just have to hit them. And we get tons of it floating around here. I'm not sure if this is going to be enough, though. Oh, I am drowning. Uh, make sure you're not underwater too long. Uh, you'll notice above the hunger bar, there were some bubbles. That shows your air supply. So let's just grab the rest of this and we'll see if we can make some bone meal. This is probably not enough. Kelp is not very efficient for making bone meal. So we go over to the composter and we just right click until we get some bone meal. And this is a bit slow. Oh, this is not good. Come on. We're almost out. <laughs> oh, there we go. Lucky we got bone meal. So we got one bone meal here, which is absolutely not enough to grow one of these. This is probably the most mature one. There we go. We helped it along, but I need more. All right, we've got two more bone meal and that has matured it. So we just take that and what we get from that is one wheat and some more seeds. So we've got one extra seed. Now, sometimes we get more. There we go. Now I wanna take this one wheat and we are going to get some cows and we have a lack of animals around here it seems ah there's sheep i see sheep over here so let me grab one of these oh oh we got cows too we got sheep we got cows we got both uh this is going to be complicated because they're both going to want to come in Ah, right. Okay. I'm going to sleep because this is going to take a little while. We now have all of our animals. So I've already mentioned that pigs are mainly for food. Now, chickens, of course, are also for food. But we can get things like eggs from them. Eggs are useful for, well, making more chickens. Oh! Uh, hello. Um, I don't have any seeds. I guess you're gonna have to just wander around here. Anyways, uh, we can also get feathers from them, which are great for making uh, book and quill. Okay, that <laughs> didn't work. Uh, books, a book and quill, as well as uh, arrows, which we will need once we have a bow. Sheep, now they are also useful for food, but we also need them for wool and the wool is used in many, many, many things. We can use them for making beds, uh, banners, carpets, and more. So we're, we are definitely going to be using these a lot. Cows are a great food source, but they're also important for leather. And we need leather to make books. And we need books to do enchanting. So I need to breed these guys. 
And breeding is fairly straightforward. So what you do is, for these guys, we feed potato. Come on, potatoes, potatoes. Nope. Are they doing it? There we go. So they had a baby. And you get some XP from that. So for these guys, you feed them wheat, feed them wheat, and feed them seeds. But they'll keep laying eggs. So that's good. I've got all the fields ready to go. I've just made some irregular shapes here as well. So we're going to start off, I think, right here. We're going to work with, uh, let's see, actually over here. This is a small area I'm going to plant. The thing that we don't really need much of, and that is beets. Now, beets are okay. I mean, they, they are a food source. They're also a source of red dye. So there you go. Uh, over here, I think we'll do the potatoes. So I've got 11 potatoes. Let's just do this little bit around here. Uh, potatoes are great. They're a great food source. Uh, you can cook them and make baked potatoes. And they're, they're really abundant. And last, over here, we are going to plant some pumpkins. Now these ones will grow a little bit differently and I should sleep before I do that. All right, so as for the pumpkins, these are interesting. So I'm just gonna do something like this. I've only got six of them. And, oh, move, move. <laughs> what happens with these is uh, they grow a, a kind of, well, they sprout, the plant comes up from here and the pumpkins will grow on one of the adjacent uh, spots, which you can then use an axe to collect. Uh, so here, something stepped on there. Uh, so what I like to do is, actually I kind of want to leave a little bit of a, a path through the center, just, you know, for aesthetic purposes. It's not really that important. Um, we will look at making these look good at a later time. Right now, we just absolutely need the uh, resources. So jump on that. You can negate the farmland there. There is one more plant that we're going to do, and that is sugarcane. You need a shoreline. So very simple. Just right click. And there you go. It must be next to water. We need this. Yeah, we really do need this for paper. Paper is important for making books, which are very important for making bookshelves and doing enchanting. Uh, I think I may have missed something here. Pumpkins you can use to make food. You can also use them to make carved pumpkins, which you can use to make jack-o'-lanterns. And jack-o'-lanterns are a light source. Carved pumpkins you can put on your head so that Endermen don't see you. We saw one earlier before. You can look at an Enderman and they won't bother you. And this is potatoes and beets. Again, this makes beets, beet stew, beet soup. I need to check on that. <laughs> I never use it. That's the thing. So that is about it for the crops that we have. Uh, carrots are one that I would love to get. Very important. Melons are also fairly useful for certain uh, a certain uh, potion. Yeah, that's the word I'm trying to find. So there is one other thing that I think is very important that we need to make, and that is shears. These are very simple to make. Just do that. Grab the shears, and these we are going to be using to gather wool. Now, shears can also be used to take leaf blocks, which I will be doing another time, but we need the wool. And there we go, we got two, only two, really. So sheep will eat grass, and once they do, their, their wool is gonna grow back, but, I want to use the wool, so I need to get them to grow their hair back. So I'll wait for that. 
In the meantime, we're going to be using a shovel for another purpose. We can use shovels to make paths. So you just right click on the ground and you can make a path. So I want to do this just to make this look a bit nicer. I mean, it doesn't have to be perfect. Actually, if it's perfect, it kind of doesn't look great. It looks like everything is just straight and blocky. So I want to put paths around where I want to be able to walk. It's purely aesthetic, really. But also, it is a little bit lower. And as far as I know, mobs don't spawn on path blocks. And uh, we have a sheep that has grown some more wool. So let's go in here, grab that. And that should be enough. No, no. Oh, God. I thought he jumped out, but they shouldn't. You see, uh, fences are more than a block high, so they can't jump over fences. Now, what I'm looking for is carpet. So I've got three carpets, which will be enough. Now, the reason I'm making the carpets is a little bit of a trick here. I want to put it on the corners here, right here and right here. So we can get in the pens without opening the gates. The animals can't get up here. So we can get in. There you go, gather more wool. We got, ooh, three from him or her, I don't know. And yeah, we can keep doing that. It's time for the pop quiz. Number one, which animal is your favorite for food? And number two, which plant crop do you like to grow the most? So please let me know in the comment section below. So I have one tip for conserving hunger. One of the reasons you lose hunger is, uh, of course, running, but also when you're jumping. So when you have spots like this, you can put stairs here, but I like to put slabs. So it's nice and easy, and it looks better. Definitely, definitely looks better. A good piece of advice is to make sure your area is lit up well. So I would like to put in a few lights here and there, especially on the corners. That will help keep a lot of the, the bad guys out from inside your pens. You don't want them spawning in there. That makes it a little difficult for you to go after them, especially, especially creepers. Creepers don't disappear at night or during the day I should say they are always around so put up your torches all over the place also uh, nothing will spawn on farmland so don't worry too much about that but it's a good idea to light things up because the light will help them grow overnight yeah so it's nice to have them growing not just daytime but also nighttime definitely do that. And I'm just waiting for that to grow so I can do a little bit of breeding. Sometimes you will find sheep that are a different color. So this is a gray sheep and what you'll get is gray wool. Now you can't make a bed with mixed colors but you can make a gray bed with three gray wool and some wood planks. It's a it, it does give some variety for colors but one thing you can do is dye the sheep. And uh, we'll probably look at that sometime, but not today because we're just looking at the basics of farming. All right, let's do a little bit of breeding. I've already done the pigs. Let's do these chickens. You both got it? There we go. We have a new baby coming. Should probably grab the eggs as well. Uh, so here, wheat for these guys. There you go. Have a calf. You can see the baby. There he is. And the sheep. One interesting thing that happens when you have two different colored sheep have a baby, the mixed color may come out. So like a red and white sheep may make a pink sheep. That is quite possible. All right. So that is about it for today. We've got... A lot done. We've got our food sources going, so that is very important. But before we go, we have homework. 
So what I'd like you to do is take a screenshot of your farms and share it on my Discord server in the homework channel. Uh, you can also do some decorating. Make these look nice if you want. Like These are really basic, but I will do some decorations at a later date to make it look nicer. This is just for the basic beginner survival. That's about it. So let me know what you think in the comment section below. If you like the video, then please give it a thumbs up. And if you're interested in joining Minecraft School, then please consider subscribing. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.